Okay. You all live in the town of Neverwinter. And here you have spent uh, the past, I don't know how many years, either coming and going. Some of you might not live here permanently. Nevertheless, you are here. And you have this tavern, the two-headed bull that you frequent very often. And uh, you guys have uh, uh, received a letter or a messenger from your good friend Gundren, Gundren Rockseeker. He said he has a very promising prospect in mind and that he is very eager to share the details with you guys. So he has asked that you come to the tavern and meet him. So, you guys sit around the table at the tavern. Can you... <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> so, can you please uh, order, set you uh, in the order you sit around the table? And you have sat, in, you have sat here for a couple of hours waiting for him. I can't see a table. You it's see the, the little black <laughs> It's a very improvised map, okay? <laughs> So can you guys move your token to however, in whatever order, however you sit around this? Oh, okay. So you can just okay. grab and drop it yourself. Yeah. After you have uh, sat here and waited for a couple of hours drinking whatever beverage you've chosen to drink, the uh, tavern door gets slammed open and in storms Gundren. Or... He storms as best as he can, given uh, his low stature of a dwarf. He's a kind of very... Uh, he, for a dwarf, dwarf he's uh, very short still, and uh, he has this uh, braided black mane, but he is middle-aged and uh, kind of weather-looked. You know he has been through some stuff. So, in comes Gundren, and he sits by the table by you guys. He sits ne next to Ulrich and Seth, and he leans in and look at, looks at you guys with eager in his eyes. So, you want to know what I found? Yeah, I want to know what you found, what you got. <laughs> so, 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 I've heard this rumor. This rumor about Phandalin. You, you've heard about the city of Phandalin, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Down, uh, down south. Next to Phandalin, we have found something very promising. Very promising indeed. Um, don't we... Haven't we gotten that... Found that, Sildar? He yells as uh, at a warrior fighter sitting up by the bar. Sildar kind of tosses his eyes and says, yes, we have. And uh, Sildar comes and joins you at the table as well. They look at each other and they kind of grin. And then Gundren says, well, I found this very big deal done by Phantomen. So I think Sildar looks down besides himself. What is that? Nothing. Just, I'm just checking out his armor. I'm just kind of looking around, hmm. peeking, you know, touching his stuff a little hmm. bit. Oh, what are you doing now? Hmm. Sildar gives him a, gives him a pat on the head. Oh, mind him. He's just curious. Okay, curious little feller, isn't he? Right. Yeah. Oops. Uh, gender is uh, cobalt. Oh, sorry. Sorry. My bad. They are a curious little fellow, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Gundren looks at you. He says, so I'm going to tell you all about this very, very promise. I promise it's something big and it's very much worth your while. So if you guys want to help me get my stuff down to, uh, uh, down to, my, down to my shop, me and my brother's shop down in Phandalin, uh, where uh, then it will be, it'll be just perfect, and I can sh tell you guys what I found. Um, 
you guys up for that? Of course, I'll pay you. I'll pay you uh, some money. No, how much are you gonna pay me? How much I'm gonna pay you? Uh, let's say uh, ten gold each. Would that be enough to uh, drive my wagon down there while me and Sildar rides in advance? Make it twenty. It's done. Twenty. We are friends here, aren't we? Agreed. Yeah, we're friends, eh? Yeah. We're yeah, I like 20. 20 is a good number. Nice 15. big number. I'll give you 15 like... each. So, Seems to me that's yeah. a good compromise. All right. And also keep in mind this very big thing I found, which I'm going to tell you down in Fandalin. Tell you all about it. You got me interested. <laughs> when would you like to set out? Well, uh, me and Sildar will be heading out now, and if you just... Uh, follow along in a day or so. We so, just need to get stuff set up down in Vandalin. And we'll ride a, take horses, and ride as fast as we can down there. Yeah. We'll we see you there in a couple of days. Yeah. Well, what we, what you will have to do? Well, yes, what do we have to do for you? Take my wagon with my stuff and transport it down to I have it parked outside, and you'll even get horses to, uh, to drive the wagon. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, it's just, I want to be in Fandolin quicker. So, if you guys take my stuff and meet me down there, then we can... Wow. What's, um, what are the roads like between here and Fandolin? Here in Fandolin? Mm, as far as I've heard, uh, it's not for the faint of heart. Right, or else you would not be paying us this goal to escort the cart. Makes yeah. sense. Exactly. What's in the cart? In the cart? Oh, just basic supplies like, uh, oh, I don't know, and food and maybe some mining equipment, if that piques your interest. Hmm. Pretty heavy guard for just mining equipment. Yeah. It's some very special... Not just equipment, but also what needs to be mined. So, it just have to get there. All right. All right. Well, okay. I think while in agreement, it sounds like a good deal. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. So you'll get the gold when you reach Fandolin. So uh, just find me uh, in uh, my shop. Let's see here. Uh, one moment. Sorry. Yeah, you can just find me in the bath and provision down in Fan. All right. Yeah. Well, so, so uh, say that name again. Start in the morning. Yeah. Bath and provisions. Yeah. So yes, come, on, right. come on, yeah. come on, come on, come on. Let, let's ride now. So see you down in Fandolin, and both of them give you guys a wave. It seemed like they were in a big hurry. Hmm. You can like hear you can hear them undoing uh, their horses down, uh, outside, and their horses are quite loud, and they just ride off in a hurry. Sounds like there could be a very profitable endeavor in this. Once we reach Fandolin, I'm uh, excited to see where this can lead us. Should we get a start <laughs> now or in the morning? It's probably in the morning. I would say. I, what, do, what do you guys say? Need to make sure it's secured first. Yes. Want to kind of make sure that we're prepared and have our stuff ready for travel. All right. 15 so gold wanted... apiece seems like a lot yeah. to get us it to is... guard mining equipment. Yeah. It's... I agree. Well, There's uh... something further. Oh, yeah. Why didn't he just take it with him? As long as we can stay alert. I mean, I'm not saying we shouldn't take the job, but we definitely should be aware of it. I mean, how good a friend is he, really? Whose friend is he's, he? Which one of you he's knows? A knight that? that's, um, he's a knight that's trying to restore order to the old town of Fandolin. He's not a bad guy. Okay. He's trying to restore a city that was that was messed up, 
um, I know a city that was messed up called Corlin Hill, where I used to live. So the volcanoes devastated quite a few cities around here. I think they're trying to repair this one. Oh, I can relate. I got a dragon problem back home myself. I also have uh, business I need to attend to in Vandalin, so I am more than happy to head in that direction. Agreed. Well, uh, we set off at first light then. Sounds good. Do we need to pick any, anything up before we go? Everybody's all ready to go. Uh, but, uh, I carry everything I carry. I own in this backpack, so yes, I'm ready. I'm always ready. Okay. So uh, it sounds like you guys are heading off to sleep for the night. Yeah. Was yeah. It ready in the morning? At first light, yes. Yeah. Okay. So you guys meet up uh, again at first light outside of the tavern where you find, as promised, the wagon with uh, two horses and it's been bound to the, uh, to the railing. Um, Does anybody and... have uh, vehicle driving or anything like that? Know how to drive a cart? It's very simple. Anyone can do it. Well, looks like Ope's a volunteer, then. Oh, no. All right. I will drive the cart. Sure. <laughs> this, is, this is going to be good. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to challenge that because it's going to be funny. Who wants to be the backseat driver telling me what to do? Who's navigating? There, there's room for two people uh, sitting in the cart. Morn will um, will sit next to Ope. Okay. Keep an eye on him. Okay, cool. Right. So, uh, and uh, how about the rest of you? Where do you uh, stand in relation to the wagon when you leave winter, uh, never winter? I um... Going uh, behind it, or sides it, or in front of it. I will be to the right side of the wagon. I was going to say we should definitely have somebody uh, watching the uh, rear. Are we going to draw out the wagon, or is the table now our wagon? Um, yeah, I'm going to move you in a moment. <laughs> yeah, I will be to the right side, just so I can see the front and the back of the wagon, uh, or people behind it and in front of it. Yeah, I'll take the left or the rear, I don't mind. How so, many horses are, are they are they donkeys or horses? What's pulling our wagon? They, it's horses. It's relevant. Okay. Horses. So if you just imagine that the party circle is uh, is the wagon and you move your token to be in relation to that circle. So just to have the marching order. Which is the front? Are we going on the high road south or north? Yeah, you're going south down to Fandolin, which is uh, down here. Okay. And it's common knowledge where Fandolin is. So this map is basically common knowledge, so everyone knows what you can see right now. Okay, so uh, as you venture forth, it's actually quite a while. So I, I can't seem down. to get the map up at all. I've just got to sat around the table. I can't zoom out or anything. Uh, it didn't load for him. It didn't load. Uh, so you, it was to my ass, right? Yeah. The top there. Okay. So I try to load again for you. In fact, I've got a feeling that it's crashed because nobody's cursor's moved for a while. Yeah, it's my refresh. Crash, the page. Yeah, my yeah just refresh then. weird because it says you are on this map. Hey, there we are. I'll uh, go at the uh, rear so that I can't be seen from anything coming from the front. Nice. Alright, so we have both sides in the back covered and the front, obviously. Yes. Yeah. Nobody's covering the left side. Looks like you're on the left side, right? No, I'm at the back. Oh. Tom's on the right. Oh, no, I I'm at the back. Tom's you're at the back. Left. No, no, because we're going south, so... Caravan. Oh, okay. Which one is what? Uh... Yeah. Bandolin is down here. Okay. 
So where's the right side? So the right side is where my cursor is now. I'm on the right side then. <laughs> <laughs> the other left. The other left. <laughs> yeah, the other left. <laughs> Okay, Wait, so you have your order there? Looks um, like it. And we're heading to Fandolin, yeah? Yes. Yep. To the south. Okay, so it's actually quite a long journey down to Fandolin. Uh, it'll take you guys approximately four days to get there. Uh, so as you guys slowly uh, make your way down to Fandolin, and sometimes... Uh, yeah. Around noon, the first day, you meet uh, a couple of people going the other way. And they don't really seem to uh, be have met anything or been, let's just say, hit by anything on the way. Um, Can we flag them down? Or are they in a big hurry? Uh, they are just walking. They seem to just be walking north. So if you want to flag them down, you can. Hmm. So it's uh, you. It's just normal travelers you've seen coming up north through the high road. Oh hi! How are the roads? <laughs> they are fine, 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 fine. Just coming from time from uh, Leylon. It's been quite a walk. Just getting to Neverwinter. Need to keep our head straight. Have you heard anything about heard... Fandolin? Fandolin, yeah, it's this um, off-the-road city. Um, what about it? Oh, that's just where we're headed. Uh, we wanted to know if there's anything we should know about. I've just heard it. For a while, a long time ago, it was this thriving town. Now it's uh, something destroyed it and they are trying to rebuild it now. So it's really every man for himself down there. Merchants popping up everywhere. Um, yeah, just people trying to make a living from the, for themselves. That's, right. that's what the story tells, at least. I'd, uh, yeah. I'd like to do an inside check to see if these people are hostile or nice towards us. Yeah, sure. You, you think they're just people telling... They're just ordinary telling what they know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Seems like what 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 they're telling is just like random gossip. Okay. Which everyone would know. Um, if they oh. lived near Fandolin, that is. Well, yeah. Okay. So, well, well, let's keep on going. Yeah. I guess they don't have to to They uh, yeah. give you a quick wave and then happy journey. You too, take care. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, quick question. Can you guys see when I roll this? No. No, it's just no. a question mark. Perfect. Okay, so as you journey uh, down the road, <coughs> nothing really happens to you. Just as previously, you see some uh, non-interesting people just going the other way. And a few times you also get um, get. Uh... Oh damn! I'm running into a Danish English barrier right now. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, one moment. Gets overtaken by uh, someone riding very fast down south. But as you continue, and you're on your third day now. Yeah, you were just headed uh, east on the Triboa Trail. Uh, and as you continue on, you have actually been on the, the Triboa Trail for about half a day. And as you come around a bend, you spot two dead horses lying in the middle of the road. And oh, you, shit. You can see that can some see of them are... Uh, yeah, one of them is missing one of their front legs, and the other one is actually missing their tail. They are both dead and bleeding very much. Stop the wagon. Are they dead? Yeah, no. stopping the wagon far away right. from the horses, like as soon as we see them. 
Yeah, are they dead? Yeah. One other thing about these horses is that you see several black feathered arrows sticking out of them. And uh, yeah. one other what thing that's uh, kind of remarkable about these is that uh, you actually spot two goblins sitting atop of them, just gnawing at them, eating the meats. Ooh. So let me just see here. Have you guys been moved to the scene? You haven't, haven't have, you? Have you? We have, have no. but we're blind. Well, I have, but I'm blind. Really black. It said I have no token with <coughs> yeah. So right now, I'm just plopping you guys down. Uh, oh, there we go. Look at that. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Gross. So you see the you see I these two god. Sorry. I was just saying I should be at the front with Oprah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Just uh, put put yourself however you were walking. So you see see these two goblins gnawing at the uh, at the uh, the two dead horses, and as you come around the bend and you sh and you stop the horses as you see it see them, they look up at you kind of surprised, but then they quickly turn on our face and just yell, "More meats!" And uh, I would like you all to uh, roll initiative. Awesome. Here's where I get the bad roll, right? Where's my initiative dice? Uh, uh, character screen. Wait. Character uh, sheet, top right. Initiative. Or you can <laughs> click on the uh, die outside your name on the combat tracker. Oh, yeah, true that, that too. I'll Holy shit! Nice. 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 Okay, uh, so I just need to uh, pull up here. Be right back. Thirty seconds. Just get some water. Yeah, sure. Do we recognize these uh, horses? Are these the same horses our buddies came in on? Uh, try to roll an insight check. How do I do that? Open up your character sheet and click on. Insight. It's a skill. I rolled 13. I rolled 3. <laughs> womp womp. Okay, so you have definitely seen these horses before, uh, Phil. Just waiting for our back. Uh, I'm going to do an insight check as well. So, feature. Uh... <sighs> Effective. Sorry, cat in the way of the chat window. Like, okay. Um, inside, there we go. Okay. I would also like uh, OP to make a perception check. Did my insight check uh, roll there? Uh, uh, yeah, it did. Okay. You, you definitely, re you definitely recognize these two horses. Oh, 20 <laughs> or 19 or whatever. Nice. Okay, Opie, over here you see a uh, map casing laying on the ground, okay. open, without its content. All right. Okay, uh, so first one up is Phil. Philanon, I think it's pronounced. Yep. Well, <clears throat> my guy is absolutely fucking horrified at the dead horses, so he's gonna he's gonna move forward like this, and he's gonna cast a fucking nuke on them all. A what? Sorry. A uh, thunder wave. Thunder wave. Okay. Okay, so we just, uh, uh, you can see a wave of thunderous force sweeps out from you. So it's a 15-foot cone. So let's see. All right, well, I missed them. <laughs> yeah, not... you're not far out enough. Can I move any more? I didn't move too enough. Hey, you did move 30. Okay, can I, can I use my other spell then that can hit them? Yeah, sure. Oh, no. 
I don't mind because I already rolled it, so if I, if I have to skip a go, it's fine. Okay, we'll skip it. We'll skip it. You already rolled it. So, make sure with the measurement tool that uh, yeah. you actually have the range before you say something. Uh, he was so outraged at seeing the dead horses, he just lost his shit. <laughs> he didn't think. <laughs> Shooting blindly. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I just messed up. Clicked the wrong uh, in the com combat tracker. Okay, so next one up is uh, this guy here. Um, Alric. Oh, one moment. No, not all. Oh, a secret hidden, oh, dear. Uh, hidden goblin. So, from uh, the north uh, trees and thickets, you see a, or you hear an arrow flying out from between the trees. And that arrow is targeting Opie, who is driving the wagon. Let's see. However, that arrow completely misses her small stature and lodges itself in the seat board behind her. Behind them, sorry. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, so... <laughs> Next one up is Ulrich. All right, I'd like to... Uh... Move right here, and then... Um... I'd like to cast Bless on, uh, let me see if this... Is that a single person or is that area? Okay. I believe it's an area. Yeah, it's a, it, it's up to three people within an area, so I want to cast Bless on these three um, individuals. And um, mm. So yeah. if you click the spell, it'll post it to the chat so we can see what it does. Alright. Well, click the uh, die beside it, yeah. And then you can click the name to expand the description, if you guys want. But you can give a brief synopsis of what it does. Um, I, I got it, it in my window. It says three left. targets, uh, so whenever they make an attack or a uh, saving throw, they get to roll an additional d4 for um, one minute. Okay, so that's ten combat rounds from now. Uh, that'll be in round 12. Uh, Bless doesn't work anymore. So that would be for uh, Morn, uh, Philan, and, and OP, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow, cool. Okay. So uh, I would like you to... Uh, uh, sorry, I would like Ulrich and Philanon to make a perception check. I'm blinded by rage. <laughs> the horses! Wow. <laughs> okay, uh, Ulrich, you can make a perception check as well. Okay. Um... Okay, let's just continue. <laughs> <laughs> You're not very perceptive. Not at all. So, from down south, another arrow's fly comes whistling through the tree branches towards Morn. I think we're surrounded, guys. It's not looking good. <laughs> um, however, that arrow also misses and actually almost hits OP. But it doesn't. Ooh. And also a uh, Lodges itself in the seat board. So next one up is a Safan. Or Safan. Okay. So could I not see anything in the south where that's come from? No. I think they're hiding in the bushes. Yeah. How much cover is there around that uh, tree trunk uh, to the uh, left of the car? Uh, which one? Can you? 
the this, that one there uh, half cover half cover oh, better than no cover <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, yeah that, that's okay, me yeah and then I'm gonna cast ray of frost um one second I need to target him first don't I Double right click to target. Okay. Oh, I've removed Ray of Frost off my bar. Good work, Tom. And then. And then I click on attack, yeah? Yeah. If you shift click, it'll just roll the normal one without prompting you oh. for advantage or just. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Okay, so you shoot out a uh, a kind of concentrated ray of frost and ice shooting from your hands. However, you hit the horses, which you can see gets quite chilled, and a, a layer of uh, rim frosts. Is that the English name? Uh, I don't think it is. <laughs> a small layer of frost gets formed on the horses. Got some crappy rolls so far, guys. <laughs> yeah, we we suck. So now it's this goblin's turn, and uh, he. He moves up to Philanon. And hits him with his scimitar and s tries to slash his knees. Uh, so let's see. So uh, let's see. Fill in on a 13 against the 19. He hits you right across the kneecaps. And does three damage. Five damage, sorry. To you. And then you apply it. You can apply it by right-clicking the number in the chat and select apply damage. Ouch. Oof. Yep. Mourn. Okay. So. Bash them goblins. Can I see his hit points left instead of just the bar? No, you can't. Okay. And that's the point. <laughs> okay. Never mind. So Morn's going to run right up next to that goblin. Yeah. Yeah. And then he's going to attack him with his sword. Wait a minute, doesn't did did you count that bless when that goblin hit me? Did you count that bless thing? Uh it wasn't a saving throw, he just hit you like saving throws if you had a special ability which you had to use like dexterity to save or something. Okay. So how do I target the goblin? Is it double right click? Yeah, double right click. So, because I've got blessed, do I roll, how do I roll? Do I roll normal or advantage? Yeah, you shift click and, and make a normal roll, and then you roll a one d four afterwards manually by typing slash r one d four in the chat. So nine. Yeah. <laughs> the goblin ducks away from your slashing sword, and uh, you miss him. Unfortunate. Let's see about the angry cobalt. <laughs> Come on, I hope we need some damage here. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see. I need to move. I want to go into stealth. How do I do that? I go into stealth. Can I go into stealth? 
You have to use your turn to hide because you're not level two yet yeah. for cunning action. And you can, oh. yeah, and you can only hide if in if the enemies haven't seen. You. So if they oh, don't that's know right. where you are, they've seen me. Um, yeah. Okay, let me. I'm gonna hop off the wagon, and I'm gonna skirt over here. Yeah. You need to press space when you do the measuring uh, Got it. in order to move. I guess I'll attack this goblin as well. Yeah. With what? A dagger. With a dagger, just stabbing it. <laughs> How does dual wield work? Is it like you use an action and a bonus action, or is that different? Yeah, and you, I think you need uh, the multi-attack feature in order to be able to do that. Uh, oh, so uh, you don't even need the D4 bonus from Bless, but you can have it. <laughs> um, so you stab it right in the guts. <laughs> stabity, stabity. I guess that's just with one dagger, so do I need to do another dagger? Uh, you can only attack with one per turn. Oh, until I get the dual wheel. But uh, that isn't actually necessary because the goblin collapses where it's not that one. The goblin collapses where it stands from nice. the stabbing stab. <laughs> Victory dance. <laughs> nice. So I would actually like a OP and Morn make a. Make a what? A perception check. Do I need to roll anything on there from Bless or not? Uh, is, is skill checks included in Bless? Yes, a skill. Yeah. It's uh, well, it's um, it's attacks and saving throws. Okay, it's not a saving throw. It's just a skill check. However, Morn, you actually spot something in the thickets and bro uh, bushes to the north. You spot a goblin hiding up there. And he sits uh, on his knees with a bow and arrow out, thinking he hasn't been seen. You can see him right now. Yeah, just I want to make sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah. just want to make sure I have revealed him. Okay, so uh, now it's this goblin. He runs up, enraged of his comrade's demise. Runs up to Morn because he cannot see how a puny kobold could like, could have killed his companion. <laughs> I am so... still dancing around in victory. <laughs> So he slashes out with his sword against Morn. But cannot, under any circumstances, hit him. I think that it's the dance that's too distracting. <laughs> so next one up is Philanon. Okay. Philanon's gonna use his scimitar to cut out this dead goblin's heart. And then take a bite out of it, and then wear it as a necklace. <laughs> <laughs> While the other goblins are fucking killing these friends. Yeah. Wow. You, know, you, could, you could do that after all the goblins are dead. That's some fast surgery in six seconds. <laughs> I'm gonna, okay, I'll walk. I'll walk. Yeah, that's like RP kind of thing. Yeah. I'll, uh... I think that should count as his actual turn, though. Could be an intimidation move. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk here. Yeah. And then press space to actually do it. And how many feet is that? Ten is that? Yeah. And then I'm gonna throw a bottle of acid on this in this on this goblin. Okay. That I, I want to use. Don't miss. <laughs> 
because I'm next to him. <laughs> yeah, please don't miss. How do I throw this? You have to target him first, so double right click on your target. Okay, I can see that uh, it doesn't provide you with the attack button for this one here. So if you roll a 1d20 and add your dexterity modifier to it. You do that by typing in the chat slash r and then 1d10, 1d20 plus whatever your modifier is. Ooh, how do I find my dex modifier? Look at character sheet. It should be right next to... Uh... Two. Okay, so rd20 plus... Yeah. Ooh, that Ooh. hit. <laughs> you hit it straight right in the face. Acid <laughs> and this bottle of uh, of acid splashes out and it <coughs> whines and yells in pain. It says you so, roll two D six acid damage or whatever. Yeah. So roll uh, two D six. Oh my god. Nice. Melted his face off. <laughs> oh, yeah. He exactly. yells out in pain as his face melts off. You got it. And he crumbles to the ground. It's like the scene in Raiders. So, uh, so uh, Phil, you, may, you can also uh, do another perception check. Oof. Uh... Wow. You actually spot a, another goblin to the south hiding right behind the bush. Oops, how do I get that rid of that circle I just made? I didn't mean to do that. Uh, you click on the effect in the middle and then press delete. Go. He rolled an 8 on his stealth check. And his bonus is plus six, so. <laughs> <laughs> so next one up is this goblin. And he fires another arrow towards OP. He, he really thinks he can hit him. They, them. That's whatever. fine. That's a big stereo zip, though, right? Or no? No, it's not. Okay. Oh. Sorry, I have to change it. Uh... It actually hits. What? Yeah. Uh, let's see. No, it doesn't. Wow. <laughs> I rolled a 23 and just assumed it hit. Wow. <laughs> okay. The arrow it doesn't hit, hit you. And tiny. You... Sorry? <laughs> you can't hit me. I'm tiny. Yeah, exactly. So uh, you just uh, jump out of the way. And uh, I assume you stick out your tongue towards the goblin. Something like yes. that. <laughs> yes, I, I, I duck and roll. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, Ulrich. Okay, um, I will move. Fifteen feet, and I will attack with, um, Toll the Dead, which is, um, I want to let me. Alright. I guess save and throw DC 13 wisdom. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so what happens on a. Success? Successful saving throw? Um... Mm, nothing. Yeah. Sorry. You uh, <laughs> stick out your finger and points at him, and he just uh, jumps from foot to foot and making a kind of a uh, jackal face at you. Sticking out his tongue and making ears with his hands. In the process, dropping the bow he was holding. <laughs> so 
So this guy down here fires another arrow at Opie. He just he wants to help his mate out. Why? Why are they all shooting at me? <laughs> because you're dancing around. <laughs> But the arrows fly straight through and actually almost hits his uh, his companion on the other side of the road. Just out of curiosity, what what would they need to roll to hit OP? Uh, uh, her, uh, their AC is twenty four. Holy oh. shit! And yeah, they, they can actually AC. do that, but they need to be incredibly lucky. What your dexterity? It's all about dexterity, and I only have nine hit points, so. So, uh, Satan. Uh, On the subject of hit points, why have I only got seven? Uh, Because you're a wizard. It's it starts out with your constitution modifier plus your max uh, roll on your dice. So. Ah, I get you. So Um, one plus six. And you're just a squishy, squishy rober. (laughs) <laughs> okay, I'm going to move around a little bit here. I'm trying to skirt around this tree trunk so that I can uh, see what's going on. And then I'm going to go to this guy in the north. Yeah. And fizz out a uh, ray of frost from my hands. Have it. Okay. okay, so your uh, icy ray hits him right on the shoulder and does whatever damage. 1d8. Six damage. Six damage. Oof. He seems like he is very cold and he quickly uh, takes off his, uh, his bracers on his arm in order to try to escape the cold. Frostbite, son. Yeah. So, Morn. So, Morn hears the uh, spell going up behind him and knows his companions are targeting another goblin. So he instead moves towards the south to attack this goblin. Yeah. Yeah. Longsword. Um, he gets a plus one d4, right, because of the... You need to add that manually to the roll when you click attack. So you need to roll a 1d4. Yeah. 17. Okay. Okay. So uh, you're... What do you... uh, What do you go for? It was a long sword attack. Yeah, but uh, what do you swing after? How do you swing? Oh, he, 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 he... He raises his arm up his head, up above, and goes for an overhead swing down towards this goblin. Okay, you hit him right on the uh, on, right below the shoulder because he was actually hold, sticking his arm up above his head while you were swinging. So roll for damage. Oof. The goblin. Drops dead, sliced, with his arm sliced off, bleeding out. <laughs> so, while it's OP, just before it gets uh, to OP's turn, the uh, goblin to the north yells out in fear. It's OP's turn. Well. I'm just gonna go kill him. How did you add the four during the dice roll, like that? You get I think he manually rolled, uh, typing in the entire attack, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, you just when typed you... that manually. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I think I clicked advantage. When you when you have that little window pop up, it says there's like an option where you can put plus one d four in. Oh, I didn't know that. Cool. 
Okay. Yeah. Oh, Pretty sure he's dead now. <laughs> uh, wow, I thought that D4 was just your blessed bonus that you were no. rolling. Wow. Okay, so uh, what do we go for with the dagger? What do we aim for? Oh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna get him right in the guts. In the gut. Um. Yeah. Okay, so you hit him right in the gut, and he screams out in pain as blood come streaming out. Blood everywhere. And he drops dead. And I dance around in the blood. And I'd like to check uh, his corpse for treasure. <laughs> treasure. Treasure. Uh, just one moment. I'm gonna rifle through his pockets. Take his trinkets and his um, his extra arrows, yeah. if he has any. Yeah, he has five more arrows on him. Cool. Uh, but he only uh, just uh, worthless trinkets like uh, pebble stones and stuff. All right, I will take he his five arrows things. then. Yeah. Okay. So, before you, uh, before you lies four dead goblins and two dead horses. Can we, uh... We're out of combat now, can we so tell... we can move, yeah. 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 Well, I'm going to search this goblin to the south. I'm going to cut this guy's heart out. <laughs> <laughs> you going to eat it? So we have both of them. Let's solve it. Oh yeah, you said there was a, uh, a scroll. That... Where was that yeah. scroll? Uh, the scroll container was here. Yeah, right there. I would like to go over there and check that out. You can see it's a, a scroll container, and it it has been broken in order to get to the content site. But it's empty. Yes. I will take the. I want to take that. I put it in my backpack. I guess. Kind of wave it around, show it to other people. Nobody's really interested, so I stick it in my backpack. By the horses, uh, Ulrich. I assume that you go to search them. Yes. While standing there, yeah, you find also uh, two empty satchels, and you can see that they have been uh, searched through very roughly. They have Ulrich. been broken and teared. Ulrich turns to his party and says. There, this looks like it could be the work of uh, some either bandits or somebody who was trying to rob these people. What you mean, like the goblins we just killed? Just killed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I would like to, you to make a uh, perception check, Aldrich. Alright. Okay. You find uh, a trail being uh, leading from the horses uh, this way here, down. Uh, and it's the trail of um, two large um, entities being dragged. Yes. I, see, I do not think this is the goblins that did this. I think they were scavenging. Hmm. Good point. Where, well are made. Where are the bodies of the riders? Yes, exactly. I believe. Is there anything I ident Is there anything identifying on these horses at all? Like, uh, I don't know, saddles and stuff. I'm not sure, but I see a trail of uh, what looks like two bodies could have been possibly dragged. Maybe we should investigate. Can yeah, I just check that. this uh, orc's corpse, but uh, goblin's corpse, but? You're probably uh, right. Which, uh, that one, one down there? The one next to uh, me. Uh, yeah, you find uh, a couple of arrows, uh, three arrows left on him. On him. And then he has, of course, the uh, short bow and a scimitar. What about this one at the south? I'll take the uh, short bow and the arrows. Oh, I thought you were the one uh, to the south. Oh, sorry, no, that's uh, uh, the one. Oh, there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, he 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 doesn't have a he doesn't have any arrows, but he does have the uh, the scimitar. Oh, Can I uh... take scimitar? Yeah, uh, the one to the south, 
was the one with the scimitar shot bow and arrows. <laughs> Can I move over here and look for any animals around? Yeah. Uh, you can. Uh, yeah, also good. Yeah, so if you roll a survival check. Okay, you can see that there has been some mouse, uh, tiny mouse droppings, but you can't find any. Uh, the only thing you find are uh, spiders and so on below when you ruffle through the leaves. So no birds in the trees or anything? Oh yeah, there are birds in the tree. I, I thought you were searching the ground. Just all around, like a big bubble. Yeah, anything. yeah. there are a couple of sparrows sitting in the tree above. Can I speak to them and ask them what happened? Sure, you can try to. Oh. There we go. I rolled that. Yeah. I Spell speak with animals. I'm just gonna ask them. Hmm. Hello, my good friends. Hello. <laughs> I'm I'm a druid. I'm a man of the woods and the nature itself. Did you see what happened here? Big man talking. Small men talking. Not talking. Small men eating. Small men eating. Attacking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did you say a big man? A big man attack people. Mm, no, no, no. Uh, two, two big men, two big uh, talking, talking. Uh, 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 hmm. Not very happy horses. Small hor uh, happy horse. Not happy horses. These two men go, my friend. Um, he looks behind him. So where is the? Down here. Okay. Mm. I think we and should... no, no walkies, no walkies for men. Hmm. Don't know what to say there. Hmm. Yeah, it sounds like we should follow them. Sounds like we should check this out. I think they went this way, the bird said. Yes. What should we do with this wagon? If we're going to follow the bird. Move it to the side of the road and let's... let's hide it before we follow the tracks. Okay. Why can't I, I just know. move my token? Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. You need to uh, to uh, select the uh, correct tool in order to do that. So if you change to the measuring tool or the template tool. Uh, so to the right, you need to click the man and then the where tool in order to be able to select tokens. Okay, there we go. I'd like to check out this corpse as well. See if there's anything on this. It's, I, I already did that one. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I thought oh, she did yeah, one. Yeah. I think you have. I, I think you have been on all of the. Uh, okay. Yeah. All of them. So, this trail is actually uh, you can see it's a trail that um, it's not well used, but it's not completely over. Do we need to rest before we follow this? It's likely we're going to fight. Yeah. We probably should at least uh, heal Fern on to build health. Or will they be dead by the time we get there? If we wait. I don't think they're alive if they got dragged away from the horses. Yeah, this probably isn't going to be a rescue mission. But they were clearly looking for something. That's why they killed them, right? Mm hmm They got the... I've got this map, uh, map case. Empty map case. So there was a map in the case that whoever got these guys took. And then the guys got dragged off through the woods. Wood. Maybe they're interrogating them. So maybe if we do wait, it might be too late. I'd say we go after them. Let's do it. We do have a cleric who could heal our druid. Hint, hint. Is it a friendship that heals, though? Uh, I'd use an, uh, a spell. I, yeah, I can do that. Um, I just... Uh, actually, in the in the context of this game, that makes a lot more sense because of injuries, but I had read that it's better to heal once you go down instead. So I'll, uh, I'll just heal anyways. 
Um, I'm gonna cast. Uh, I'm gonna go over to. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna use um, cure wounds on on him. Um. Oops! I accidentally got myself out of the channel. <laughs> Alright. So then you click healing to actually roll for it. Um. You need to target him first, Whitecliff. And then, um. Targeting is only for our reference, it doesn't actually do anything in the game. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it posted a message to the chat. Yeah. Okay, you found it. So nine. yeah. So you can uh, uh, fill it on. You can right-click the nine and choose apply as healing. Thank you, my friend. You're very welcome. All right, let's do this. Come on, guys. Okay, so so this trail is only wide enough for uh, you to walk on a line. So I'll go first. The marching order. Okay. So this trail is uh, kind of like an animal's trail, where you can see that only the very center of it have been has been trembled enough to actually be walkable. Uh, there are vines and branches coming from all over. And as you walk down this trail, it becomes increasingly hard to actually get forward. And uh, after about 10 minutes, um, you actually stumble upon something. As well, Let me just roll this. Uh, that's... Okay, so I would actually like Morn to make a uh, perception roll. A perception, sorry. Okay. Are we still under the effects of Blessed? No, that wouldn't affect this, would it? It's no, it's only one minute as well. And you have walked for ten minutes. Okay. So, uh, please roll a uh, dexterity saving throw. So, when you click dexterity, it asks for saving throw. Saving. <laughs> <laughs> it's so okay. close. Almost. So, you, as you step forward, you fail to notice the uh, slim ring of rope laying on the ground. And as you step, Inside this ring, it pulls you up and hangs you upside down. Hey, uh, also, you can roll an extra 1d4 on that saving throw, right? Because he's still blessed? Or is that only during combat? Uh, the bless was only one minute, right? Uh-huh. You've been walking for 10. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, so what? you're now hang, uh, hanging upside down by the ankle of a rope. Ope thinks this is the funniest thing he's ever seen. Ope, stop prancing around and cut me down. <laughs> All, right. All right. I'll climb up the tree and cut him down. Do I need to roll for that? Uh, yeah. A climb check. Would that be uh, athletics? Um, first, oh. I, before, it, it, there's no uh, initiative check, right? No, no initiative. I'd like to cast uh, a cantrip uh, guidance on to Ope. Okay. Um. No. Okay. It's okay. uh, that you do a, an extra D four on any ability check. So an extra D four to your six. That's a nice skill, actually. Okay. So you managed to actually climb up the tree. The tree. <laughs> <laughs> nice. He's now sitting on a branch. I want to cut him down. Um, With your dagger? Yeah. Okay. I have a knife as well, but I, 
dagger's probably fine. Should we not get someone strong ready to catch him? He can, he can, he can just fall. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not concerned about that. Someone catch me. Or lower me down, slowly. I'm just going to begin sawing through the rope. <laughs> I'm going to get a bit of uh, undergrowth and try and create some kind of uh, crash mat for him. Slowly, Ope. The rope quicker. breaks. The rope breaks and you fall down. Let's see. Oh, oh. And as you hit the ground, it actually hurts quite a lot. And you receive four damage for your impact with the ground. Medic! <laughs> and a cobalt sitting up in a tree, laughing at you. Laughing its ass off. I'll remember this, Hope. When you want food, <laughs> I'll remember this. Ah, oh, come on. I, I clamber back down again. Um, I assume whoever's hunter's trap that is is probably going to come to try and get their prey soon, so uh, maybe we should hide ourselves. I get back down just fine, thanks. <laughs> you do. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. yeah thanks, Ope. No problem. <laughs> right, let's, let's just... carry on following this trail. Can I uh, roll a nature to see if there's any berries around that I can eat? Yeah. So uh, it's a survival check to see if you find them. Is it not nature? Uh, nature is more knowledge about the nature. Survival is being able to survive nature. Okay, I'll roll. Damn, no berries. Get a handful of poison berries and die. I was actually considering that, but I'd roll nature to find out if they were poison, right? Yeah, yeah, true. But no, you do not find any. It seems like all of the bushes uh, here have been trampled down, or or is that? So it doesn't grow any berry. Okay. Let's keep going down the path. Can I do an insight check to see? looking on the head because i'm very mindful of the fact that we just got caught in someone's trap if i can see uh, any other sign it's not really that that's more of a perception oh, perception sorry yeah, yeah. i'm sure um... i'll do one as well after being caught in a trap i'm now on my most attentive okay as you have been walking for uh, 15 minutes or so you notice a um, a covered up a pit in the ground it's been covered up uh, very roughly with uh, very thin wooden plates and uh, 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 planks sorry uh, and then covered with leaves Guys, I've Ooh, got an idea. Something. Can I check how deep that is with a nature roll? I drop a, I drop a stone in it and check how deep the uh, hole is. Yeah, the hole is completely covered. Right, can we, can we uh, brush the leaves aside and then have a look? Yeah, you can. Yeah. yeah, sure. Uh, so you uh, brush the leaves aside and find the very thin wooden planks. So we, uh, we pull one of those up. Yeah. Yeah, and see what we can see beneath. Okay, so it's a, a it's a dark pit, uh, and you would uh, you believe it's about ten feet. Is there any cover near the pit? Any cover? Yeah, like a bush or something, uh, a small. Cover yeah, yeah the trail is completely surrounded with uh, shrubberies and stuff right. like that. I've got an idea. Someone's obviously laying traps to try and catch someone. Probably yes. So why don't we get Ope as the smallest uh, member of the team to hide in a bush near to the hole. We'll cave it in to make it look like someone's dropped in there. 
will all take positions. Hope screams and shouts as if she's been caught. When they come to investigate the trap, we pounce on them and attack. I like this plan. This is a good plan. Good plan. It's worth a try, if they're still around. Or we could just keep going forward. Are they trying to slow us down, or are they trying to catch us? I think they might be trying to slow us down. If they are, they might not be coming back this way. They might be trying to get away with their captives. They don't know we're coming. They don't know we're coming. It's to cover their tracks in case anyone... We're we're going to be near someone's base with all of these little booby traps and stuff, is my thinking. I think it's worth a shot. We can give it a try and see if anyone comes, and if not, then we can continue down the path. Oh. Yeah. Hide myself off to the side. What? What? Co- so we we're all going to hide in the bushes. <laughs> yeah, and Everyone. then we're going to push in the trip, the pit, and Ope, uh, Ope is going to shout as if she's been caught. Ah, help! I've been caught. Like that. Okay, so if you just position yourself uh, here, and uh, let's say that the pit is right here. And bushes are everywhere around, yeah. correct? Yeah, the trail is only one foot wide. So uh, north and south from here, from the pit. Out of character, this is this is so fun. It's really fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm gonna I didn't plan- expect you to do this, honestly, but... Cool. Cool. Very fun. Very fun. <laughs> Am I meant to be on a blank battle map at the moment? Yes. Yeah. Blank map, are. red square in the middle. I have to refresh it for yeah. it to work. I'm going to say blank. Like, yeah, alright, I'm going to refresh it then because it's just literally a blank screen. By the way, guys, just keep in mind that I have no more spells to heal with. I just used my last one of Bill. Ah, we'll be fine. I've all got right. one of your wounds I can cast. Mm-hmm. I've got lay on hands. Nice. In fact, I'm going to use Lay on Hands on myself now just to get myself back up to full strength before this. You happens. can't use Lay on Hands when you're above 50% health. Yeah. But okay. I can, I can cast my Cure Wounds on you. And that'll, uh, oh, I have no. I have no spells left. How does it say that? It doesn't say that you can it. How deep is this hole, by the way? Ten feet. No. Oh, I was going to crawl inside, but that's probably not a good idea. I think it says towards the end that you can't. Alright, we say, ready? It doesn't say anywhere on that description. I can't it's, do um, it. It's, you can use lay on hands to get up to, up to 50% health. I, I remember reading it that. last time when uh, when I played Pali. First, what? One moment, I'm just gone. Thanks. Look it up. Yeah, it doesn't say it there. Yeah. Yeah, you should be able to. I think Walra just made that up because he's the one that said that. Probably. Really? What a dick. <laughs> <laughs> so I how does... I, this I, I, I'm not cutting that out. I'm timestamping that bit. No. Leave that shit in. I hope he watches it and gets mad. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, is it one hit point per pool? From hey. Where? I th- it's a one hit point. Uh, it's one hit po- point per l- paladin level times five. Okay, because I've got five points in my lay on hands pool. So oh, yeah, so it's one one to one. So yes, yeah, so it's one to one ratio. Okay, so I can just expend four points and then be back at full health. Do I need to click anything for that, or do I just change it on my character? It does just change. Okay, so I've still got one point of lay on hands left. Right, I'm at full strength, guys. I'm ready. Okay. Is everyone so, happy uh, with, with their uh, positioning? I'm happy with it. 
put the on a bush over here. I think you're in the middle of the path, Phil. Phil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is Phil going to hide? Yeah. yeah. yeah the, the path is uh, north and south from the, uh, from the pit. All right. Mm. Okay, so if everyone rolls initiative, so that'll be the easiest way to resolve this. I can't see anything. My mouth's frozen. Refresh. Yeah. We're all rolling okay. dice, probably lagged you out. It's gonna investigate why right. everyone's lagging, lagging out. Wow, that's some good initiative rolls, though. Uh, yeah. So uh, I guess uh, everyone just waits until something happens. Yeah. yeah While well, Ope is just screaming and shouting. Get screaming and shouting. Yeah, I'm here. screaming and shouting. Ah, help! I'm stuck in a hole! Oh my god! Why me? <laughs> is there any way to reload the map for me? I, I see just blank. Yeah. Just, just refresh, refresh the my website. Huh? Refresh, refresh the, website. the website. I just did, and that's why I see blank. F10 again. Should be, there's nothing there except for the red square. Oh, okay. All right. yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, so th this is the map I use when something is improvised. Okay. So, sorry about that. Script. <laughs> yeah. All right. I thought that was just me. I was like, my bad. No, uh, a, a real blank is just a, a single color filling the entire screen. Help me. I'm stuck in a hole. Oh my God. I'm going to die in here. Food, 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 food. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Europe. I'm up, huh? What are you gonna do about these goblins? Um. Well, since we're hiding, we have advantage in them, right? They can't see us yet. Correct. All right. Well, I am going to attack with um, Call the Dead. Actually, I don't even need advantage on that. Um, what's this? Oh, they, both my attacks, they just succeed on rolls. Okay, I'll do, yeah, I'll do Toll the Dead. Um, again. You don't um, have to double click, just a single click. You post the message twice. It's just... Oh, my bad. <laughs> yeah? So, uh. Yeah. Which one of them do you target? That one? Okay. Uh, and yeah. uh, I guess it's the wisdom saving throw. Yeah, 13 was some saving throw. What is a goblin's wisdom? Oh, very low. Very low. <laughs> so, wow. so, roll with that hits. Can you roll for damage? 1d8 radiant uh, necrotic damage. Okay. You can just click damage. Ooh, Ooh nice. nice. Uh,. So, this sound of bells, it, it, it just starts to scream and uh, presses its hands against its ears as blood, as blood uh, starts streaming out. And it crumbles on the ground, dying. <laughs> oh, P. Oh, um... I'm going to move. Uh, by the way, this is difficult terrain you're in right now. So your movement is halved while not on the trail. Oh, I can't move up on them, can I? Don't think so. Do you have any ranged attacks? I do. I will shoot my arrows at the one living goblin. Yeah. 
think I can hit him. It's not letting me target him. There we, there we go. Okay. The uh, uh, the arrow flies just beside its ear, Aww. nearly hitting it. Morn. We had a goblin attack. Okay. Did you have advantage though? Uh, well, yeah. Well, I was hacking, yeah. wasn't I? Yeah. Yeah, you. Okay, so roll another. D20. Oh, just one. <laughs> Did I hit it twice? What did I do? Uh, I think you uh, pressed uh, the attack and then you select selected advantage. That automatically rolls two. Oh, my bad. Okay. Okay, so it hits. Uh, so uh, try to roll eight damage. Oh, pew pew! And so you hit it straight between the eyes. And it falls to the ground. I'm gonna run up there to see what's that, what they got in them. They have some uh, really worn out scimitars, and that's the only thing they carry. They uh, wasn't actually expecting being ambushed right here. They are some garbage ass goblins. Good job, everybody. I don't know about everyone else, but I think that went well. It went well. Success. It did. Take the gear and let's move on. Sure enough, does. Okay, so uh, are you moving on or? Yes, uh, further down the path. Should we do an insight check to see what we can see ahead? Uh, perception, right? Perception, yeah, sorry, I keep misspeaking. <laughs> yeah, sure. The least perceptive. Oh, one sec, need to roll one. Are we all rolling perception checks? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I think we need I it. This advantage. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> perception check with advantage. Oh, I still got low. Wow. Ope walks through life with his eyes closed, <laughs> <laughs> just running into shit. So you actually do not walk for more than five more minutes before you actually come across a large river in the hillside of a uh, yeah, large hill, uh, about uh, five miles away from the scene where you were ambushed. And uh, a shallow stream flows out from a cave mouth, uh, which is screened by dense briar thickets. And a narrow dry path leads into the cave on the right hand side of the stream. Cool. And let me just do Neat. Okay. So it's like the river's coming out of the cave? Yes. And you can see that the cave clearly slopes upwards. If I was a goblin, I would be living in that cave. I bet that's where they took our friends. Or a scout oak. You can scout it out, right? Sneakily. I mean, my my perception's not that great today. <laughs> Did we take a short rest or not? Yeah. I don't know. I think we just continued walking. I'm not sure. I mean, I mean we, we walked like five, <laughs> ten minutes, right? I don't know if that quite counts as a rest. Short rest is like four hours, and long rest is eight yeah. hours. Uh, uh, short rest uh, is a minimum of one hour, but up to four hours. Oh, okay. Do we want to take a break to get prepared before we go in? Probably be a good idea. Yeah, yeah I think. While these goblins go down, we've used uh, a lot of our spells up, haven't we? We need to refresh, refresh ourselves. What's the difference between a long and a short rest? Like, how many spells do you get back? Uh, you don't actually get any spells back on a short rest. You uh -oh. can. You only can get hit points. And some classes do get stuff back, like the warlock gets. Uh, Spell back. Spell back. 
probably not going to be beneficial for us, but can RP it out. Let's let's just make sure we're ready mentally before we go in. We're going <laughs> to mentally ready. <laughs> yeah. Is it worth checking that uh, path that goes down to the uh, east on the other side of the river? Yeah. Sorry, can you repeat that? So, is it worth us checking out that? Uh, just talking to the guys, is it worth us checking? Oh, oh. Uh, I don't know if it's. How do you do the thing so it flashes up where you're trying to target? Uh, you just uh, uh, long press. With... Wow. wow. <laughs> that one? That one. Yeah. yeah. We've got a, a sneaky scout we can send open. I'm just, I'm just question real quick. I feel like you're trying. This, uh, I've got this spell cure wounds, and when I try and cast it, it says you have no available first level spell slots with which to cast cure wounds. What does that mean? We've already used all our spells we can at level one. You can only use yeah. two spells, I believe, depending on your class, until we do another long rest. So you uh, can't so cast some spells. The only spells you can cast are your cantrips if you have yeah. those. Okay. Cantrips are the only one you can cast indefinitely. Sure. So yeah, until you have made a long rest, camped or something like that. So did my thunder strike, the one I cast and it didn't hit anything, did that count as a spell then? Yes. I think so, yeah. yeah. Okay. So we could rest out here if you want to. We're all full health, aren't we? And we only get HP back. But if we did a long rest, you'd get your spells back. Okay. Um, y'all, it doesn't make any difference to me, so... What do y'all think? I think we have a long rest away from the caravan, it could get stolen. Yeah, I think uh, I think we should go on through, because we don't know what's up with those people they took. They could, if we wait eight hours, they could be killed or worse. Yeah, a lot can happen in eight hours, and we're also right outside a goblin camp, so while we're having a long rest, it'd be easy to be sieged upon. Yes. So let's move on the... forward. We've got the advantage of surprise at the moment, so we should we should make uh, make use of that. As long as we're stealthy. Well, stealthy ape, you lead the way. Alrighty then. Okay, we're going so in, or are we going on that yeah. little side path? So when you move, uh, please only move one square at a time, just so uh, I I have the time to. It's really only the one leading that needs to do that. Just so I have the time. Stop. Okay, so you're moving stealthily, you're saying? I mean, I guess so. I don't really need to move stealth. Well, yeah, I'll probably want to when I get inside the cav the cavern or cave. Doesn't look like that path goes anywhere to the uh, east. Okay, but um, on the east side of the stream, uh, flowing from the cave mouth, you see a small area in the briar thickets that has been hollowed out to form a lookout post or a blind of some sort. Uh, wooden planks flatten out the briars and provide room uh, for guards to lie hidden and watch. Mm. And is there anyone there right now? Uh, not from where you can see, but the wooden planks continue on further down south. So down here, you you can see that the wooden plank continue. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna. So we uh, roll a stealth check. Let's see where what would that? There it is. Yeah. You, you can't see... see me? Nope. You uh, see a single... Uh, no, sorry. Not a single. You see a goblin sitting uh, by a table with another goblin. And they are arguing heavily over what appears to be some knuckle bones that they have just thrown. All right. I'm going to gesture at uh, whoever can see me from the party. It looks like Phil and Zathan that there's two goblins over here using secret sign language. We passed a message down the line. Okay. 
So I would like uh, everyone that had just moved, yeah, that would be everyone to make a stealth check. Right. Is mine at a disadvantage because I'm in chain? Uh, that depends. It should automatically give you a disadvantage, I think. No, not when you're proficient. No. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> So they almost rolled a four, but <laughs> it just tipped. Yeah. You hear that? You hear that? Oh, was hiding they, in the bushes. Yeah. They kind of look out. Oh, I didn't hear anything. You hear something? Oh, maybe, 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 maybe not. Go have a look. I won't cheat. <laughs> So one of the goblins starts walking up. Always me. Always me. Start walking up. And as he uh, comes to this point, his spot fills with great surprise. Roll for initiative. Uh, or can yeah. I jump out and surprise attack him? Sneak attack him. Uh, yeah. Bad. you. Everyone gets a turn before him. He's very surprised. He's not going to sneak across the river. You're rolling for initiative, yeah? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, makes sense that Phil is the first one to go? Does he have advantage for being surprised or no? Uh, yeah. You have advantage on how, your uh, on your attack rolls. How far away is this uh, thing? Is it ten feet? Yeah, ten feet. One square is one. It is five feet. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll poison spray his ass. Does that just hit? Do I do Constitution it? saving throw. Do I do the saving throw DC thirteen or do I do damage? Uh, I do the saving throw. Yeah. Hmm. He, does a, he has to have a 13 in Constitution, or he gets hit. See? Wow. Ooh. Ooh. One, he gets hit. So, uh, let's see. 1d12 poison damage. That's quite a lot. So, roll yeah. for damage. It says critical hit. I can I can press critical hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not. I'm just right click normal then, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, 12, yeah, max it. So as your poison spray hits him, it, it hits every part of his body and his ju he just dissolves. Oh, gross. <laughs> and it's gone. Dissolves in the goop. <laughs> nice. Um, Ope, Ope is horrified. Remy noticed so, that that yeah. might make it, uh, I don't know. So if you're, yeah, from uh, further down the uh, the outpost to here, ah! and now it's more. You gonna move up? Anybody want to step in this goblin goo that we made over here? <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Raymond would like to use a goblin goo as a uh, as a. Uh... Sort of a moisturizer for his skin. Apparently, <laughs> um, apparently the out of character. Apparently, the EQ servers rubber banding really bad, and no one can play properly. So we might not even raid today. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. I was away for a second. We make goblin a... goo. Are you <laughs> for the... I was overhearing bits. I got a grocery delivery, so I'm gonna have to sort that in a second. Oh. But I'll take my turn first. What? What? Uh... We got any other goblins we never wear up, or was that it? There's uh, a goblin over here. You gotta move. Yeah, you gotta move uh, to yeah. see it. I think you aren't sharing vision, so you have to. Okay. Go. <laughs> where is it from? Where I'm standing now? Oh, where none of you can actually see it. You have just heard a scream oh, yeah. coming from downstairs. Um. 
You can move up to 30 feet, though, and you might be able to see it if you move into the cave. Who knows? Okay, well, I'm going to move ahead into the cave, then. I think he came from... He was in the, the trees. The, the, uh, oh, down to the south. To the south. Oh, down to the south. Well, I'll, I'll hold the cave so nothing comes on our flank. You guys deal with that goblin. Can I... As you enter the cave, you can see that uh, whatever you can see from here, it's just what, what the sun hits. There is darkness inside. Is there anything yeah, I can yeah. do, like, to preemptively brace myself for, like, anything that might come out? Yeah, you can yeah. take the ready action. So if something you define happens, then it, then it gets your turn. Okay. Okay, okay so if something comes within... Um, like melee distance or attacks me, can I react? Sure. Okay. Yeah. So this is this is kind of like postponing your action. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh... Don't forget, there's another goblin over here. Yeah. So out of the cave. No, oh, sorry, not the cave. Uh, the outpost down there. A goblin sprints, and he just sprints right past Opie. And uh, I have you played with attack of opportunities before? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I was just gonna say, can I not attack of opportunity him? Yeah. So I usually play with you have to interrupt me. Uh, this first time, I'm going to remind you of it. But you could do an attack of opportunity here because he moves out of your threatened area. Oh, Opie. Oh, can I not do it? Sorry. I think we both can. So when he came no. past me, I could have hit him. I can hit yeah, him. but yeah, it's right. only when he moves. Oh, yeah, your ready action. That's what, that's right. But he stops here because of Opie's uh, attack of opportunity. So when he continues up, you get your ready action. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So uh, you can own. Yeah. God damn it! I clicked it twice. I'm sorry. Just one. It hadn't haven't actually rolled anything yet. Do we? Do I do it with advantage or just normal? Just normal. You slash out after it, but miss it your ten. Womp womp. So it runs up here, kind of out of breath, and uh, now it's your turn more to interrupt. Get him! You may have killed him. No, no. No! In the room next door listening, so, um, right. So I'm going to attack him then. With my longsword. Yeah. Yeah. Do I? Is it just a normal attack? Yes. Or, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that hit. <laughs> now damage, yeah. Yeah. Make it was a good one. A, was that? A, that was just a normal hit. It wasn't a critical. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. No, he did. So uh, you slices him. You slice him clean through. Uh, gross. In half. So now you have Goblin 1 and 2 lying in the river, slowly flowing, uh, going with the flow. Well, goblin 1 is goop. <laughs> yeah, he's flowing in the river. <laughs> uh, okay. Alrighty. So uh, let's. Uh, one moment. Uh, so I would like Morn to do a perception check. Okay. Ugh. Oof. That's bad. Yeah, you made a perception check. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my oh. god. <laughs> Okay, when you get awful rolls, it's even better when you beat someone with even more awful roll. <laughs> um, I actually rolled a uh, five on the opposing roll. So, you are very close. Do you, Can I do a perception? Well, yeah, can I do a perception check? Not from there. Okay. Can You're I out of in? combat now, right? Yeah, you are. Can I do it from here? Oh, 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 oh eh, not so far at once. <laughs> One square at a time. Okay, there. 
Uh, okay, as you step in there, I'm actually moving you back here because there is there a story. So just inside the cave mouth, uh, you find a few uneven stone steps that leads up to a small dank chamber on the east side of the passage. And the cave in the back end of this cave, it uh, narrows into a steep fissure at the far end. Uh, and uh, this cave is filled with the stench of animals. And you can hear some savage snarls and the sounds of rattling chains. Uh, where three wolves are chained up just inside the opening. And each wolf's chain lead up to an iron rod driven into the base of a stalagmite. Poor puppies. Uh, I'd like to uh, use an um, animal handling check. Can I? Can I do that to? Yeah, do it. To tame them, or I mean, like, I don't know. Not tame them, but like, um, what? Are they, what can I do with an animal handling? Friends. We want a pet puppy. Yeah, you can. Uh, try. Sorry wow. about that. Sorry about that. I picked <laughs> it instead of. I thought you'd give me the description. <laughs> Okay, so uh, what do you actually do? Uh, I'm wondering if I can actually like try to tame one of the wolves with animal handling, like or not tame him, but like make a friend out of him. That's that. That doesn't work like that, does it? I'm missing a token somewhere. Ulrich, where are you? I'm. Uh... Yeah, where is he? Is someone standing on top of him? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He was standing on the... Let me just delete the cop. Yeah. I forget what animal handling can do, to be honest. Anything in the way you try to interact with an animal. Hey, okay. um... I'm gonna try to, uh... Go they bark to... very loudly. This... I'm gonna try to go up to the wolves and, and calm them down. Okay. Yes. I'll, uh... He's animal handling. Hold up. Yeah, I I'm gonna totally do that too. Oh my god. Oh, it's not go, is it? Okay, so uh, the wolf snarls at you, and slowly it's uh, with tracks is the word I'm gonna use, but not the one I actually want to use. <laughs> it's teeth. Oh, uh, one moment. Uh... Can that affect multiple wolves or just the wolf I have targeted? Sorry? Does that affect multiple wolves or just the one wolf that I'm right next to? Uh, it affects the one right next to you. Okay. So the other one's still pretty pissed. There's something wonky with uh, the lighting here. Oh, so you're I'm... standing inside the wall, that's why. Why like it? Right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay, so uh, let's see. Ulrich, uh, your wolf uh, slowly backs down, sits on it on its behind, and looks at you, still with a bit of anger in its eyes. The two other wolves still howl, barks like mad, trying to get out of the chain. And they talk and they talk. Can I say to the wolf, it's okay, I'll set you free and then break the chain? Sure. Okay, cool. I, I, I'm gonna do that. Come here, buddy. It's okay. So it's, uh, it's this wolf here we are talking about right now, right? I want to show him the pelt that I'm wearing as well, so he knows that I'm like an animal person. I think it you are showing him a pelt animal fur, or <laughs> yeah, the one that I'm wearing. <laughs> which uh, which fur? Which wolf did you set free? So the one this is one here, me. right? Okay, yeah, that one will do. Oh, oh what? The one that's tamed. I'll do that. Actually. Yeah, that's the one. So it's, it just uh, <coughs> looks at you weirdly and begins walking around. Be free. 
starts walking out kind of confused. Uh, the rest of them... Let's see. Uh, Oh. Whoa. Okay, so we can see the iron rod in uh, this stalagmite right here being uh, yanked halfway out. And it snarls at you. I snarl back at it. <laughs> <laughs> it yanks oh, the iron rod out and attacks you. Hope is going to go hide behind Morn. Go. Uh, yeah. Stop. <laughs> is there an initiative? Yeah. Why can't I roll as good on other things as I can on initiative? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but uh, what do you want to do? <laughs> so uh, this wolf uh, right here is still... Uh, oh, got free. This one down here is still bound. It's struggling heavy to try to break its chains. All right, I'm going to run up. And stab the wolf. Stab it right in its wolf side. Yeah. Well, I stabbed it. So uh, you hit it in the side, but it uh, it clearly didn't go deep enough. All right, crap. Um, I will um go forth and try to uh cast Toll the Dead on it. The one that's free? Yeah, saving throw DC's 13 wisdom. <coughs> Holy moly. Jesus, guys. From a you, 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 It looks around and stops uh, barking for a brief moment in bewilderment of whatever it's hearing. But quickly resumes. So, Thulanum. I could still move after that, right? I still got like. Oh, you can. Sorry. Thulanum's right there. Yeah. Thulanum's eyes begin to glow and he gets mad pissed with this wolf. He looks at it and snarls at it. How dare you snarl at me? I'm a druid. You're an animal. You're going to pay for that. And then I grab its head and headbutt it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, so as you grab its head and headbutt it, it opens up its mouth. God. And <laughs> one of the teeth actually pierces your cheek, and you take one damage. Okay, and then it can move, right? <laughs> To my friendly wolf. <laughs> so you hey, remember you to apply the damage? You do that by right-clicking your own and then just updating the number below. Oh, uh, OP, you move out of turn. My bad. <laughs> oh, no, that was me, I think, right? I just moved out the cave. It no, you're fine. Point. You're fine. Yeah. I had moved on accident. Okay, cool. Okay. So the wolf uh, runs after you in anger. Opportunity of attack. Uh, not yet. It hasn't moved out of your threatened area. Okay. So, now you can. Opportunity of attack. Yeah. Can like I do to, that uh... too? Yeah, when it moves out of your area. I'd like to which cast is... Toll the Dead as well, because I have Warcaster, so I can choose a spell as a bonus action. Uh, oh, it's not a bonus action. This is a react. Yeah, I mean, it's my reaction. That's what Warcaster okay. lets me do. It says you can use okay. reaction to make an opportunity attack to cast a spell that has a cast time of one action and targets only okay. that creature. Cool. So I'm going to use to go to the dead again. 13 wisdom save. Uh, 
get it. Uh, Alright, I do actually 1d12 because it's already damaged. Wow. So that's the versatile button, I believe. That's when you yep. do the ultimate damage. Nice. So the ringing only apparently only it can hear makes it ear split and it uh, tumbles to the ground whining. Okay. That was pimp. We're awesome. So uh, this wolf yanks and pulls on its chain, still trying to get loose. But it doesn't budge at all. Morn? Can I, I take it that wolf is one I can't see from where I'm at? Um, correct. Further in the cave. Yeah, okay. So I'm, I'm going to move inside the cave. What? Why can't you see that? I, yeah, I'm trying to move to see it, but I can't see it. Let me just refresh my scheme just in case. Yeah, it's like my light points outwards instead of inwards to the cave when I'm looking at my cave. I'm trying to adjust the line of sight of it. I can see um, Alric, but I can't, yeah, I can't see. Yeah, even when I move like right, right. I can't see beyond where I'm moving my mouse. That's really weird. There aren't any line sight blockers there. And if, I'm, if I move in there, I can literally can't see any of that unless I'm... Oh, you're standing on it right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's... Let me just try to move him up. Can you see him now? No? No. <laughs> Have you refreshed? Yep, I refreshed it. That's weird. He's There's so literally weird. nothing blocking there. Okay, so I moved it up here. I, okay, I can see him, so I'm... If, if we move our character to inside the dark, Oh, I know why. It's dark in there. Oh, right. We don't have any light. Yeah. Let's just go with it standing there from now. Okay. Uh, right, so um, I'm going to do my usual. And uh, I'm going to raise my sword high and come down with an overhead strike down on this, this wolf and yeah. extinguish its life. Hopefully. Just enough. Attack roll that mother. <laughs> oh, not no. nearly enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this thing's got some beefy hit points. So, uh, you think that you slash out to uh, behead it, but instead you just cut off one of its ears. Are these supposed to have a health bar, by the way? Um. Or... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's a season now. Okay. The health bar appeared, right? No. It did. I'm refreshing to see if it'll pop up. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Uh... Nope. It's there now. Should be, at least. Nope. Nope, and I only see health bars for myself, and... Yeah, I only see I my own health bar. Nobody's name either. <laughs> nobody's okay, name. I see, nobody's I see a health bar on... Uh... Yeah, the name should be on hover. When you hover over them. Uh, let me just see. Token... Uh, I, did, I was able to see my party's health bars before, but they've disappeared now. Okay, it's... Okay, these tokens are only for... Owners, apparently. I'll have a look at it after. Hey, you haven't lost any life. None of you. No, no, I was just curious to see how, yeah. how injured the wolf was. Uh, oh. Uh, it's supposed to have raid in four minutes, by the way. It, oh, there it goes. Yeah. 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 There you go, got it. Uh, the wolf's I think the login servers are down. That's a problem. I just got in. So I guess we'll finish well, this encounter up and then. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. 
This is more fun. I know. <laughs> I was secretly hoping the server would be fucked. Y'all have official rates today? No. Chief, I'm one. I'm gonna move here and blast my ray of frost aim. Yeah. So roll the attack roll. Your ray of frost just uh, skits by the armor of OP, but it doesn't hit anything. Well, shucks. OP, how do you react to that? I don't want to be cold. <laughs> I'm going to stab this wolf. Target the wolf. This... Can I Double do right click. Hey, DM Tom. Sorry? I was just telling Tom to check his DM on Discord. Oh. Can I sneak uh, attack or can I just regular stab it? Regular stab it. There aren't anything sneaky about this. <laughs> Your dagger hits it. Pew pew. Stabity stab right in the uh, neck. Yeah, exactly. You stab it right in the, what would be the jugular, and it collapses to the ground. Right in the googler. So as you stand in this, what you think is a kennel, you hear uh, no other sounds but the stream and something roaring in the distance. A, yeah. Watering, roaring, uh, roaring sound in the distance. Like rushing water or like an yeah. ant? Yeah. Okay, so like water. Are we stopping here or are we continuing on? I'm just about to cancel the uh, Jeep on the raid, so if you guys want to continue, I'm well up for continuing. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't think I have more than like half an hour left in me. Uh, it's getting quite late here, so. <laughs> yeah, that works out. Yeah, Play all this, night. This messed up anyway. It's not like a. Sorry. Not... We can it's finish. A... The... We can finish the D and D then. Yeah, let's finish. Quest servers messing that's up. That's why we're doing it, not because we're like fucking it off to play D and D. Like, it's, uh... all right. Look, so let's keep going. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, just a note on uh, this vision thing. You somehow need a way to be able to see in order to move forward. I am fine. I have dark vision, so I can see just it's fine. Yep. If, you want, if you want me to go in front, I can do that. I've got a uh, a uh, torch and... Let me, let me just double check I did actually get that. I meant to buy it. Let's move in the tree. Yeah, I've got a lamp and oil, so I have a way of seeing. Okay, do you ignite it? Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, uh, so uh, how far does that grant you vision? Ooh. Can you see that on it? Let's see what it says. A lamp casts a bright light in a 15-foot radius and dim for an additional 30 foot. Once lit, so it burns 15 for six hours. bright and dim 30. Yeah. Okay. So I would like Opie to make a perception check. These have not been going well for me, but we will try. Hey! That was mine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Almost okay. a 10. So, uh... Okay, so the main passage from the cave mouth climbs steeply upward, and the stream plunging and splashing down its west side. In the shadow, a side passage leads, leads west across the other side of the stream. And uh, Opie, you, uh, and in the sh you can see, stop there, uh, in the shadows of the ceiling to the north, uh, you can just make out the dim shape of a rickety bridge of wood 
and rope crossing over the passage ahead of you. And another passage intersects this one 20 feet above. So that passage off to our, I guess, my left is yeah. up So across. this passage is the one mentioned, and the one you could you could see further okay. up was uh, this one up here, Got and it. where the bridge goes. Okay. Do you guys want to, you behind me? Are we, uh, do you want to go right, or left, or right? What happened to the wolf that wandered off, by the way? It ran. Nice. It ran away and it lived happily ever after and had a lot of nice. cute puppies. I was wondering, when that one wolf broke free, could I have tried to go over to it and use the animal handling again to tame it during combat or no? Is that not, uh, not when you failed already, then it would have to be 24 hours before you can attempt again. Oh, but I hadn't failed. I'd oh, passed on okay. that, I'd passed on the one and I just hadn't had a chance to go over to the other okay. one. Okay, yeah, you could have uh, used your action to try to do that. Okay, yeah, all right, just for future reference. Okay, so... Uh... Wait, we right. Right, under the bridge, or left, or, uh, yeah, left through the uh, tunnel. Right. Go right. Right. Okay, uh, so, uh, to, sorry, which way did you say you went? Going right. Under the bridge. Under the bridge. Okay, so if you just walk uh, a bit slow. Okay, uh, stop here. Uh, so, uh, the stream passage continues up beyond another set of uneven steps ahead and bending eastward. A, a waterfall sounds out from a larger cavern somewhere ahead of you. And um, you start to hear a the roar gets louder and louder. And suddenly the passage is filled with this mighty roar and a huge surge of rushing water pours down from above. So, Amazing. I would like... Yeah? Question? No, I said amazing. <laughs> uh, let's... So, uh, do we need? To... Is it gonna yeah. hit? Yeah. So, everyone make a dexterity saving throw. How do we do that? Just click on dexterity and roll. Yeah, we're going to click on dexterity to ask if it's an ability or saving. Throw. Okay. Oh, so, why? Let's see here. So, uh, Philanon and Ulrich, you guys lose you, loses your foothold, tumble to the ground by the rushing uh, of the water. And I would like you guys to make a strength saving throw. All right. Um. Now, I can't. Okay. Oh, we're in. What's this to come back? Um, strength saving throw. Okay, my bad. Um. Strength. Okay. Oh, critical saving throw as well. And the oh, Philanon, where are you hiding? You're hiding behind OP, right? Yeah. Or yeah. he's on the same square, yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm just moving you, OP, away so I can grab him. Got it. So Phil, you get swept off your feet and dragged by the water. The waters downstream, tumbling about in the river as you uh, get swept out and lands out here getting spit out of the cave. Damn. Uh, and you take 
five damage from being tossed around in the waters. Ulrich, you manage to grab hold of a stone uh, on the floor of a large rock and hold on against the onslaught of water. Ulrich is also thirsty and opens his mouth to drink some of the water while it's hitting him. <laughs> refresh to quench his thirst. So the rest of you, you, uh, you didn't fell, so you can just stand in the water. Uh, Phil, did you uh, record the five damage? Uh, not yet. Why can't I see everybody's health bar anymore? Like my groups. Uh, I think it's the. Let's see. Like that now. Uh, I just need to modify it for you guys. It'll take a minute. Okay. I I have to do it for each of you. We broke it, didn't we? No, I think it was me that set up wrong default <coughs> when dragging yep. you guys in. Yeah, that's working. I'm seeing everybody as you're adding it. Yeah. Nice. And the last one. So you should be able to see everyone now. Yeah, it's working. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So slowly the river settles down. And you can still hear water from further up the cave. Just in case that happens again, I'm going to. Uh... Skip into here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one moment. Oh. That is actually a, a upsloping a mess of rocks here. Uh, so uh, it's difficult terrain right here. Okay. Uh, guys, I can see a couple of goblins up ahead. Okay. I'm going to come over there by him. A uh, quick question that might not be my place to ask, but uh, one of your friends got swept down the river. <laughs> oh, he's fine. <laughs> you know, it's just a flesh wound. He's, he's a druid. He's used to nature. I uh, I was just about to go check. I didn't. Uh, I was waiting for y'all to move. Yeah. Um, I forgot that we don't have to really take turns. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm gonna head down this way. As long as you, as long as you move slowly, so a uh, a couple of squares at once, so I can interject if you. I am gonna be one square at a time. So I would like uh, Opie and Satan to make a perception check. Checks are shitty today. Yep. Uh, <laughs> or need to make one as well, or not? Uh, who asked? Side. I'm mourn. Uh, nope. You don't. Moving on. I right, move over and uh, keep moving, and I try to help. Um, uh, filling on up. Thank you. And I also uh, cast guidance on him. Which does? You can click guidance in order to post. Yeah, like that. Oops, <laughs> you've done it twice. So his next ability check, or um, we'll, we'll have a. Uh, Saving throw on it. I mean, a plus 4D. Yep. Okay, cool. And I start heading back up to meet the group. Yeah, okay. Uh, Ulrich and uh, Philanon, you guys can make a uh, perception check. Perception, okay. You can add plus 4, remember?
Okay. So, I just want uh, Yeah, you can. Okay, so you, uh, you actually spot a small goblin kneeling up on the bridge and is starting to walk back into the, uh, into, in here. He's just started walking. Trying to be sneaky. Um, I'd like to, uh, actually we have to roll initiative, don't we? No. Okay, uh, I We like... haven't done anything yet, so. Um, I let the party know that I see, I see a goblin on the bridge. And, um, I asked what How do you let them know? How okay, you... um, I, 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 uh, I whisper. How, how far can I whisper? One square. Oh, Otherwise, okay. it's a very loud whisper. <laughs> Alright, um, I guess I'll, I guess I'll just say it normally then. Which is, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know hey, there's a goblin up there. <laughs> Can I move and then whisper? Sure, the goblin is on its way. I am. Um, move one square and then. Okay, where do we move to? I will move right there and I whisper to Opie and Zathon that uh, there's a goblin up on the bridge. Did I see the goblin too? Uh, no. But, but I guess you heard him. You you saw that he noticed something. Yeah. I mean, he wrote a twenty-two perception. You're saying he didn't see it? Oh, he guess it wasn't in the cave yet. I mean, that goblin's moving perception. across the uh, bridge, so I'm going to try and blast him with a ray of frost off the bridge. Yeah. So did my twenty-two perception skill not work? I actually thought it was you. I said. No. Oh, okay. Oh, Ulrich. Okay, I I read that one of you made the twenty-two and the other made the three roll. So, yeah, both of you noticed. Yeah. Sorry. I read uh, it hey, Phil, future, you can uh, put incorporate the three roll into your um roll. Okay. By just uh, typing in that middle little box that pops up, like plus one d four. If I blast this guy, is everyone ready? I'm ready. Okay, if, yeah, okay, I was just going. <sighs> Dang. Uh, you actually hit the water and create a small uh, puddle, I'm gonna say. A uh, small sheet of ice atop the water that starts flowing down towards you. The goblin turns its head and just bolts into the. Oh, sugar. Into the Get cavern. Okay, so now we are actually going to uh, enter into combat. Na, 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 na. So if you roll initiative. Uh... Wow. That's a lot of goblins. <laughs> we are in trouble, folks. Ooh. Uh, okay, so I guess it's why does it mark Ulrich as the first person? I don't know. I'm just gonna skip it. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, so they're down that hallway. Um, I guess I can just move, what is it, 30 feet? Yeah. Okay, as you move up on that ledge there, you can feel that the ground is very unstable. Here isn't, right? <laughs> oh, it's this entire uh, stretch you're standing on here uh, between the two slopes, robbling sl slopes. Oh. Oh. Yeah, don't move up there. Uh, this slope here slopes steeply downwards, so you have to make a climb check. Oh, okay. Um, 
I mean, are we going this way, guys? Am I going the right way? <laughs> Should we go that way? Uh, I think... Better. Yeah. Oh, what do you think, Tom? Um, well, that know. goblin who just uh, ran off to the uh, southeast is probably going to come from the north with his boys you would have thought. Yeah. But they could also dump some more water on us if that was something that they controlled themselves. I imagine they do. So... Yeah, I don't know which way to go. I'm... I'm... Let's go up this slope and out the water. Yeah. So the one headed. Yeah. So I need to do a climb check, you said? Uh, yeah. Uh, acrobatics or athletics? Yeah, sorry. It's I'm coming from Pathfinder and there is a skill called climb in that. <laughs> oh, no, uh, be, uh, I can use either one, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. I would say I would say it's more of an as. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Yeah, Both you get up. Yeah. You get up. Okay. Um. So you spot three goblins sitting in there. Uh, around a campfire, chatting. And I would like to make you to make a stealth check. I mean, uh, strength. I mean, uh, athletics, sorry. Okay, they, they do not know the you. Okay. I mean, the uh, uh, Yeah, you can hear... Can throw a rope down to you guys? I can do that, I have a grappling hook. I yeah, yeah big down, idea. you climbed down there, sorry. This slope here went up, this one down, went down. Oh, oh. Never mind. Y'all on your own. Either way, I got 50 feet of hemp rope that I could tie off to something, probably, right? Yeah. You hear some uh, banging noise coming from upstream. And you start to hearing. Oh, no, 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 no. Ulrich, you moved out of turn. <laughs> oh, yeah, my bad. Ooh, busted. <laughs> I forgot we so... were doing turns now, my bad. So you hear roaring coming, starting to come from upstream. And a huge surge of water again comes splashing down the entire pathway here. And I would like Satan, Ulrich, and Phil to make dexterity saving throws. I moved into the cubby to avoid any water. Uh, yeah, you're still standing in the water there. Oh, that's why I moved into oh. there. I don't know why. He thought he did. He said he said he was moving. Okay, in. so yeah. let's get you then. Uh, Ulrich and Phil. Well, in that case, I'm not actually touching the water. It's filling the passage. It's not just in the stream. Uh, uh, so dexterity save. <laughs> Both of you lose your footing, your footing again, falls down, and I would like a strength check. I got washed away again. Bad. <laughs> wow. Okay. So this time, both of you loses your grip upon whatever you were trying to grip to withstand the water and get swept down the stream. Can I throw a rope to them? Uh, not in time. Okay. So, and both of you, let's say this one goes to uh, Ulrich. You receive one damage. <laughs> oh, Phil. And Phil receives three damage for being wet around in the water. So Phil yep, doesn't I'm get dead. up. No, <laughs> not dead. Dying. Okay. I'd like to stabilize him on my turn. Uh, 
one moment. See, oh, you have a healer's kit. Yeah. Uh, so I'd like you to make a healer's kit check. Oh, how do I do that? Uh, the roll by the healing kit should do it. Oh, can he just do a medicine check? And uh, it gets easier when you do the healing healer kit. Oh, uh, is there a specific check for it, is there? Yeah. It should be. It says, this kit is a leather pouch containing bandages, styles, and flint. The kit has 10 uses. As an action, you can spend one use of the kit to stabilize the creature that has zero hit points without needing to make oh. a wisdom medicine check. Oh. Might get, be getting my Pathfinder rules mixed up again. Cool. So he's yeah. stabilized on zero hit points. So you are... You aren't dying, you're just on zero hit points and unconscious. Okay. Hooray! Yeah. And, okay. Uh... Yeah. So Philanon is unconscious. Ulrich has been swept back down the river. Opie is standing right there in front of three goblins. I used my turn to... I saw my turn. Oh, to uh, we are out of combat now. Oh, okay. Okay. I think we should retreat for now. I gesture at them to go help the other guys, and I will just stay hidden right here. Okay. If I need to scarper, I can. And then I want to use my last point of lay out hands on uh, Philanon. Hey! Nice. So you receive one point of healing and you slowly open your eyes. However, in the uh, ruckus where you got, got tumbled around, you sustained an injury. So, let me see here if I can find wherever my table is for that. Hopefully it's something like you broke your little finger. <laughs> you get a minor oh! scar. Wow. So... Well, that's just going to help you pull when we next go to Tarpon. <laughs> So you have yeah. a minor scar across your temple from me hitting your head on a rock. That's going to just help you with the, uh, with the winches in the tavern. Yeah. <laughs> Old facial scar. You see my guy's face? I barely notice it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should retreat for now. Rest and recoup. I and think then... they're coming. So... I was going to say I'll a couple out. of us hide in the uh, wolf cave, and as they come out, we I think launch another we'll ambush. I think we're to. Yeah, maybe we should try to. I mean, it, I don't know what the DM says about it, but uh, if uh, are they we're out of combat, so I don't think that they're still coming, are they? No, oh, I moved, I moved uh, I'm moving them out uh, in the fog of war. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> um, well... I moved. I moved out of. I moved down to rejoin you guys. Yeah. Let by the way, it. I would like you to do a stealth check when you uh, try to climb out from uh, the go three goblins overhead. Oh shit! Okay. You got a pretty good stealth, so hopefully you pass this. Oh, you don't have to move up there, just do the stealth check and then see. Ah, we're You're good. fine. Sneaky call. Alright, um I I uh would like to offer the opinion that we backtrack and camp in the woods. I agree. We need to get Philanon healed. 
Yeah, good plan. Let's oh. do that. Cool. Okay, so we... Uh... Where do we want to go? Do we want to pull way back or just kind of around the corner? I we think the goblin west. that spotted us will check right outside the cave, so we should pull back a little ways. I mean, if we wanted a good place to camp where we had a lookout, there's literally a goblin lookout outside the camp. It's true. I'm just thinking the goblins might come back to that lookout. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I yeah, think the further away from the distance. cave we are, the better. Can we um, make sure we're like covering our tracks as we move, trying to not like, leave any uh, tracks for them to follow us to our new yeah. camp. Whoever does that, uh, make a survival check. I'll I'll do that. Um, Somebody with good survival. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, one second. I got plus two. I got plus three got on plus survival. Five. Oh shit! Yeah, saw you. Um, survival. Okay. This is one of those times where I'm not telling you if you are successful. Okay. That's fine. I mean, you does it to the best of your ability. Let's just say that. Alright. Um, yes, hey, my I can't, <laughs> can't really see further past this, right. but... Um... Okay. So we say you will uh, you leave this map. Uh, and uh, we'll our, move... Our caravan's like a 10 minute walk away, so... Uh, 20. Yeah, that's... 20, 25. Probably oh, a safer place to uh, camp Yeah, up let's put the caravan and, and camp around it. Yeah, we need to make sure our, our horses are safe. So, have you been pulled to the caravan? Yeah. Nope. Yeah. We're just going to drag Phil there by one foot. I'd say we, we could set up camp. He is, uh, he is up and walking. Barely. There's a, there's like an enclosure where I'm at. We can make a camp around this uh, tree and have a lookout right near the caravan. I'm going to lie inside the caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Dying. I'm going to pitch my tent here. Been... You know, like, if anything pops off, I want to be inside in cover, so... You guys can fight with your full health bars. Can hey so can can they come from in here or is that like closed off? Uh which one are you? I'm I'm doing the um Oh yeah. Um no, that's closed off. Okay. Alright, so yeah, this seems like the only way they can come is from in front of the caravan. So this is a good spot I think. I'm just checking it. the fog of war is gone for you, it's just your vision. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, uh, this seems like a good area and have someone out and we'll watch the, the caravan. caravan. We'll use the caravan to block, like, the north. So yeah. We'll shot. We'll use that as, like, protection. Yep. Yep. Sounds and good. And we make camp. I will uh, use tinder to make a bonfire. Ooh. And we'll go have some delicious rations. I'm gonna make a bonfire like right in um and uh I've actually got the spell create bonfires one of my cantrips. Oh, well that your, works then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that works, that works. I mean can we can I take that back? That's a question. If I, I already said Yeah, that. sure. Apparently <laughs> right. the Daybreak Games uh um server's getting DDoSed, that's why it's lagging. Awesome. Oh interesting. If I prepare food, that'll that'll uh, do some healing too, right? Should a long rest uh, fully heals everyone. Okay, so. well that'll work anyways. Yeah. Because I've taken but... no damage and I've not used my level one spell slot, I'm just going to take a short rest and do four hours of uh, watch duty so that we don't get jumped on in the night. All right. Okay. If. I don't know if anyone else is able to forego their rest. I think everyone else used all their spells. Yeah, if you don't mind. I need to rest. I don't have anything I've used up. Cool. So, do you want to take one shift and I take the other one? Out? Sounds good. Let's do that. 
You want to do the first? Yeah, why not? All right. Okay, so do you anything? Do you do anything about the bodies lying in the middle of the road? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've got to have something to we... watch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> we Mon watch the scavengers come and eat them. Morn drags them off into the woods up here. Yeah. Uh, question about the uh, goblins out of character. Do they count as a humanoid or a monster? Uh, well, they are humanoid. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, some some DMs prefer you figure that out by trying to use a spell that fails on them, but. Well, I wasn't sure on the uh, definition of humanoid because I take humanoid to be anything that's on two legs and acts relatively humanish. Two legs, two arms, a head. That's yeah. human. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what about the horses? Uh... Barbecue. Can I uh, attempt to move them up into the woods as well? Yeah, if you make a strength check. Yes. Wow. You move them. <laughs> you pick them up both over your shoulders and bring them in. Yeah. The both of them at the same time. <laughs> you bench press them a couple times afterwards just to show your strength. Um... Your evening workout in with the dead horses. <laughs> And this this goblin here as well. So I just did that because the horses are part of the background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone really went uh, OTT with the horse with one leg taken off. So <laughs> that's graphic. Yeah. An oversized chicken bone. Uh huh. There you go. And I guess we start resting. Yeah. Okay. So if you open up your character sheets, uh, just below your amount of hit dice, you have two buttons, one called S-Rest and another called L-Rest. So those are the short and long rest buttons that resets whatever needs to be reset when you click them. Oh, cool. Okay. All right, I hit rest. Do we both hit short rest or do we need to stop because something's going to happen in the night or...? You just hit short rest because if something interrupts you, you continue resting afterwards, I presume. Is my injury taking off now or not? Yes, uh, it is. No, you haven't received magical healing. You still got the scar, mate. Isn't Lay on Hands magical healing or no? Oh, yeah. I forgot about Lay on Hands. Yeah, it's gone. Awesome. Did he lose his scar? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. <laughs> so, uh, as night falls and you uh, start resting up and you keep a lookout, I think I'll end today's session. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, that was brilliant. great. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. Cool. Good show.